Alright, so uh, before we got disconnected, we was, uh, I asked a question about, uh, while well, staying with people, when you, when you first tell somebody about that they have to, uh, change, the first, the first class is, uh, is to go with themselves, to find self. You know, they, the first thing that comes to their mind is to go through the doors of the church. Mm -hmm. Alright, now, okay, now, this is, this is, uh, my belief, and let me, uh, uh let me make sure I let that be known. Like this, is, this is my belief, and, and I'm a preacher's kid. This is coming from a from a preacher's kid point of view, because there's some things. Um, I'm off. Yeah, you good? Okay. All right. All right. So, like I say, I'm a preacher's kid, and it's some things that uh, religiously, you know, and uh, and and uh, religious backgrounds that I don't believe in. So just let me uh, put that on out there. But, see, I believe, let, let me, first of all, let me put it out there like this. Like, I feel like, like, the my experience has been uplifted in the last couple months or so. My spirit's been revived, and it, and I'm probably getting the same feeling as a Christian would going to, to a church. But, my energy has been coming from from other sources. To me, I believe that real churches outside those buildings. That's this is my personal belief. I believe that uh, uh, once you inside those walls, it becomes just speaking to the same congregation that you uh, pretty much speak to every every week. And those are the souls that uh, uh -huh. quote, quote unquote that uh, that are supposed to be found already. Now, now me, I've been dealing with somebody like you always find like a, a, a somebody a spiritual leader or somebody that uh, that got high energy, uh, high spirit. And I found somebody like that, or they found me, or God sent them to me, and they pretty much been like lifting my spirits on on, on the spiritual realm. So. Like my church has been coming outside of those buildings, like because so, I feel I feel everybody has a different revelation and God sent uh, different people and different people lives in different seasons to come holler at them. But I don't believe that it's just it's a pastor or a prophet or a, or a, or a missionary. I believe it could be a regular Joe Smoke. I, I believe anything that's being said is being said for a reason. You can get somebody, you can you can find somebody out in the street, uh, somebody that's slow, and it, uh, they keep saying like fire is hot, fire mm -hmm. is hot, and you looking at them like, dude, what the hell is you talking about? Fire is hot, like fire is hot. You keep walking and you looking at him paying attention, and then you run into a hot stove, and he told, I told you fire is hot, fire is hot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like it's like so church that's without a, like that's a dumb point right there because a lot of people disregard a lot of lot of a lot of people are uh, are are not are biased or um or uh what do you call it? Like 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 they look at they look at you from face value. Oh, this is a bomb on the street. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, what, what, what can you tell me? What he possibly know? So they pretty much disregard whatever's coming out of their mouth. But I think, right. just like you say, you need to always be constantly aware of anything that you see in here from anybody. From anybody, because any just think anything that you say is being said for a reason. Like, like so, like if if the the all knowing, if all knowing God know everything that's already said, if it was already written, it was written for a reason. It was it was written for a reason. Like so, like so, who's we to disregard anything that's being said? Like me, that's why. Like like me, I over evaluate something before I before I undermine it. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I'm like that. But I like to, I'm like that to a fault. But kinda, I'd rather be like that rather than undermine something. But um, but yeah, I think yeah, I think a lot of people like go go to uh go to church to 
try to find out basically who they are, and then at the end of the day, they, you know what I'm saying, end up, like, not like not even knocking no church or whatever, because really churches is supposed to be doing, like, a whole lot in the community, uh, more than just spiritual realm. We're supposed to make sure that uh, um, issues are, like, health care, um, uh, uh, things of that nature being taken through through the through, through the churches or whatever. It's a lot of things that the church is supposed to be doing that we look for our local politicians to do. Like a lot of things that they supposed to do. And like I say, I'm a preacher's kid. Like in like and um I'm and I'm looking at myself right now. Like okay, now I feel like being a preacher's kid and my father uh being a pastor. Like, man, I need to be helping him out more, even though it's some things that I don't agree with. Like, it's certain things inside the building, inside the church that they built that I need to be doing. Because no matter what, it's still a, it's a tax-exempt business mm-hmm. that's supposed to be doing good for the community. Now, I'm not going to go in front of nobody's, uh, on nobody's pulpit and talk about some scriptures that I had no idea about. Mm-hmm. But I could talk about my I could talk about uh, uh my scriptures. I could talk about the life that that I live and the mistakes that I made and the 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 test that I passed and the and the the test that I failed. I could testify on that. Because I mean, all, all of us say, have the scriptures yeah. and chapters. That, that that that's another that's another key point right there. Because without disrespecting any type of uh, faith or religion just off uh, stepping back outside of the faith and looking at what that faith really is before it was called a faith or religion. That was another, that was another man's, that was another man's life you know, and, and walking journey that, 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 that people are following. You know what I'm saying? When you go, you know, if you're a Buddhist, you know, they follow the, they follow the ways of life of Buddha. You know what I'm saying? If you're a Christian, they follow the way of life of Jesus or any, any of the other, um, um, you know, Saviors that they want to call saviors or whatever, but it's been many, many, many of many. You know what I'm saying? It's just walk of life that, that became, and some are more popular than others. And some some, some people that have heard of, that have no knowledge of, and some people, there's a lot of faith and religions out there that haven't been brought to the surface or, or the public yet. You know what I'm saying? Just people to choose and select a direction to go in. But I think all of these different men or different people that we use to uh, to follow it gave us like almost like not a blueprint, but like a, just a key. It depends on who you are as a person and your your personal journey. You're supposed to take that key, unlock the box, take whatever you need to take up out of there, keep it yeah. moving, and then you supposed to what you supposed to, now you now you supposed to remake a blueprint, which is now your blueprint that somebody might end up following too. You they I mean and all they did was record record they record their life. You know what I'm saying? Record their steps, doc, document shit. You know document. what I'm saying? Yep. And somebody that picked it up, like, oh, what's this? And they, and they they read Joe Blow made some sense in the in the in the, in the 31st. I mean, in the, in the, in the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like in the 19th century. Just put it like this in an analogy like this for people that don't even understand what we're speaking on. Like this this conversation right now. This picture, this thing is is. The world, the world came to a complete end, and everything blew up. Every, every uh, religious Bible, every Bible, every Quran, like it was no, it was no way of getting to any religious source. You can't, you couldn't read nothing, no internet, and the only thing you had was this conversation right here. This conversation right here will be the gospel. Yep. Based off of our conversation, this conversation will be the gospel to many generations. They will write scriptures based on what we said. They will, we will be labeled martyrs. They will write scriptures in our name off of what we said because we said, like, no matter what, the words that we said is being said for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was going off, It's going off our beliefs. And throughout history, people have been known to uncover other people. And beliefs, and a certain few have been chosen to to take it in. You know, I'm wrong with it. You know, but it's, it's that, that's pretty much all it is. I, I think that's why I think it's important for for uh, you know what I'm saying, especially 
especially uh, you know, here with what I color code, so called black or whatever, to uh, you know, and especially the men to 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 get to get a habit of documenting things and documenting thoughts as if they jewels, you know, and, and uh I, I don't like when a thought is is not acted upon. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like it's a waste of breath or a waste of a thought. You know what I'm saying? If you're not putting it out there in the universe somewhere, you know what I'm saying? If you're not acting or if you're not sharing it, because I think it's a sin. I believe it's a sin for you to have a certain type of knowledge on certain things and not and not pass it on and not share. It. You know what I'm saying? It was never it was never it was never meant just to be held with inside you. No. Let me tell you how real that is, what you just said. Today, I'm talking about, to, well, yesterday. It's, it's 12.02 out here in Chicago. It's 12.02. So yesterday, uh, the, the lady that I'm speaking of, that, that like I said, I've been using her almost like like uh, uh, my, a spiritual God or whatever. I feel like a spiritual God. I, I feel like God put in my life for a reason, and. And I'll I'll take lightly of uh pretty much on what she said. She told me today, she said, Everything that you're doing through this mini series, like like I said, that's another shameless plug. Uh, everything that you're doing through this mini series, you need to be documenting all your actions because they actually revelations to who you are. And I acted like like what you mean. She so she broke down a, a, a few scenarios. I'm not gonna put it on out there, but she broke down a few scenarios on uh, a few things that was going on because we already know going through uh through going through anything, anything that's a task, we're not gonna have a just a clear road. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna have just a clear road. Like you're gonna have to deal with it. like we still getting put through a test. Rather to see if you can handle it, see. If it's made for you, see if uh, uh, you can get your people to, uh, to, to follow, see if you're a good leader. And I feel like I'm getting put through a lot of tests that I'm passing with flying colors. And everybody letting me know that I'm passing these tests with flying colors. But she's letting me know you're writing a book right now. Like you writing a book that's not being documented right now. Why are you not documenting this stuff down? Go get you a journal. And yeah, I'm just tripping that. off of, and that's what she said. And listen to what you just said. You ain't, I, I ain't tell you about that conversation. Everything somebody say is being said for a reason. Now, now to, to the blind, a lot of people just listen to stuff and be like, you have a nigga, you can't tell me nothing. Mm-hmm. That's how a lot of people take a lot of stuff. Like, man, like, I don't care if it's a drunk. I'm like, man, I, 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 I listen to a drunk telling me, I don't need to be uh, drinking cheap vodka out of a plastic bottle. Uh, like, yeah. You got the prime example of why right here. Yeah. 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 I'm looking at you. You stink. Like, I never drink Dimitri's because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I never drink, like, man law. Never just, like, that's a man law. Never drink a piss out of a plastic bottle. Right. <laughs> <Like. laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, what is that uh, shit
Yeah, what's that? Oh, uh, it's still. Yeah. I mean, uh, monitor. Yeah, I'll turn it back on. Maybe I turned it off in the message. So. Uh, my, my fault, y'all. I'm over here. Uh, getting off the plantation. It's the only job I got to actually get to sit down, so I'll be taking mad advantage of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm filling out a sip report right now. Yeah. Yeah. Act like I did something besides some editing on the computer. <laughs> you you fill out some true lies? You may have some true lies. <laughs> <laughs> Like, okay, I did walk around and go to the bathroom. I did go on the fourth floor to go help a lady go do something. Like, I only made, like, two real rounds. Oh, one time to go start the floor. Good, I'm out of here. All right, well, I'm, I'm good. You were talking about the lady who told you documents. Uh, okay, like, okay, yeah, and like just going off. I say I'm tripping with well, you. She was just saying that was like uh, like you talk about almost like revelations, like bam, like like ain't nothing gonna be. Keep steady being keep being said, and if it ain't uh-huh. for no reason, mm-hmm. like that's almost like something that's big my up. Like boy, document, document, document. Like you reading other people's books while you writing your own. Like, pay attention, pay attention to what you're doing. Like what we doing right now, we document. Mm-hmm. And, and actually, what we doing? So, if you want to be specific on what we doing right now, it's, 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 it's even it's even deeper than that. Because when you when you ask when you tell the people that you know you start documenting, you know you start documenting different aspects of your life, your, your beliefs, and you know stuff like that. The first thing somebody uh, comes across somebody's mind is, you know, I don't have time to be, you know, sitting up, writing and jotting and stuff like that. I don't get, you know, it, it, to me, half half this generation don't even read, pick up a book, let alone write, except besides a rap. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's almost like, for my personal key and pointers, it's like it's always a way to do shit. You see what I mean? Even if you're too lazy to fucking write it. You know what I'm saying? So like like utilize technology besides uh, you know, saying for fun and convenience, you know what I'm saying? Or use it for convenience, you know, like if, if you don't if you're not a if you don't if you're not a writing person, you know what I'm saying, they got programs out there that you can talk and just it'll type of shit for you. All right. One of their software is called Dragon. So y'all can go out there and get that and d- download that or whatever or, you know, shoot me an inbox and I can show you how to get it for a little small fee. But uh, like I say, there's ways around everything. If you, if you, if something, anything you want to do, it's an app for it. It's a software, something, you know. So, so it's really no excuse to leave. It's no excuse to uh, to leave this earth without leaving behind your legacy. Mm. Bottom line. So if you die today, you know what I'm saying. Like, where's your traces at? You know what I'm saying. Like, wh- where's your? If you're not even leaving it for the world, what are you leaving behind for your kids? You know what I'm saying. And that's pretty much the biggest thing. So they can go back into into your history and your mind and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yep. And and I think that's hey hey Leonard, ain't that a uh, ain't it a, a scripture in the Bible talking about you supposed to uh, uh, like document your life? 
in the description, something like that, stating that? I just wanted to verify that, like, uh, amen to that. Let me get on up out of here. I've been up in here all day. I just wanted to clarify that we we doing a uh, phone conference. All right, all right, all right. He just got through saying basically what we just said, like the the, the, the choices that you make, but it always starts with self. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's even some uh, that the Bible. That's what they were saying back then. Now, me, I don't know no scriptures, but these things that that through my life, through my life lessons that I know, that I learned. Mm-hmm. Just like, I don't know who Deuteronomy is. I don't know who, uh, I know who a couple of characters is. I know, well, not characters, uh, men from, uh, I don't, I, 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 I know the story of Job. I know the story of David. I know the story of Moses. Well, like, I know. The story is the story, the story itself. Mm. Because like really, yeah. I'm trying to like perfect the story, the story of Prague. Mm-hmm. That's the story I'm trying to perfect. Because I guarantee you, even even without its perfection, you if you jot, if you jot down all your shit and your you know so your, the things you the obstacles you done went through throughout your life, the experiences, the things you've learned from a teenager to becoming an adult, a man, a father. I guarantee you, you can you can, you can prevent a lot of these young these young guys out here from doing to running to brick walls and stuff. Yeah, and especially being able to speak their language. See, and that's a whole other topic itself too, because a lot of these a lot of religious figures they look at what's going on, but it's such a it's such a generation gap no. that like these kids like they. They like man. They don't know the. They they don't know. They 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 have no religious sense. So when you talking that like you talking a, a foreign language to them, and they look at you like nigga, what is you talking about? I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. Like dude, like like dude. The gospel to them, the reverence to them is Jay Z, is Chief mm-hmm. Keith, like the 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 Illuminati key holders is the reverence to them. If you can't you can't speak their language, they ain't trying to hear you. You better throw a couple cuss words in your sermon and you try to reach these kids now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and you, you, prove, you, you just brought up another key topic when you're saying uh, generation gap. 
like the generation gap is is huge. You know what I'm saying? Between the old school, the mid mid the mid school, and the the new school. I was just you know? finna say that. Let me let me like before you go any further. Let me say let me say this or whatever. We in a barber shop now. I'm a barber also. So we in a barber shop last week. Now it's a man that's that's seventy years old. And it's another man that's 56 years old. These dudes are arguing about back in the day when each one of them was young. These dudes had a generation gap between 30 years, one of them 70 and 57. So I brought up, like, look, it's a kid up in here. Like, and we was talking about generation gaps. So I, mm-hmm. so I said out loud to him, like, look, if it's a generation gap between the 70 year olds and the, and the 18 and the, and the young generations, uh, or or it's a uh, generation gap between a 70-year-old man and a 57-year-old man. What you think it is for a 70-year-old man or a 57-year-old man to these teenagers? Y'all right. can't see eye to eye. Y'all, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all arguing about, oh, it was different in our day. Like, y'all doing that. Like, and, and, and all it telltale, like, no matter what, like, the main thing, the common denominator that they kept saying in their conversation was, my father used to, or the men used to. They kept saying the word men. The word men kept coming up in their conversation. And that's the that's what's missing, basically missing today, is men. Mm-hmm. It's men in the community. It's scriptures that say something like, you got to, uh, uh, what to say, like, I know this scripture or whatever, like, you got to, like, uh, it takes a village to raise a child. It's like, dude, the, like it's such generation gaps, and so much stuff has been unlearned that you gotta retrain the village on how to raise the child. Mm-hmm. Like you gotta retrain them. Like, like, dude, back in those days, like back in the day, it was like you had the full generation teaching the child. The the parents had their parents in their life, and their parents in their life. So, like, even if you had to go to grandma's house, grandma gonna make you wash dishes. Grandma gonna teach you work ethic. Grandma go like she would take you to church. Uh, uh, the 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 neighbors uh, the the make sure they get in your ass and then tell your parents. Now, now, grandmama damn near sixteen years older than your mama. Your mama only eighteen. Grandma thirty four. Mama don't like ain't no men up in there. So women right. bust down for a little bit of nothing, mm-hmm. having having all these little wild ass kids. Daddy don't want nothing to do with you if you ain't busting that pussy down still. Mm-hmm. Mama on some, like, dude, ain't nobody finna say nothing to my kids. Like, dude, it's a whole, right. like, it's straight up generation loss. Mm-hmm. Like, and then if you don't know, if you don't know how to relate to them, the, 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 like, first of all, you're not finna, you're not finna get to no, and no kids here by discouraging them and telling them what they are and how they fucking up before you encourage them. No. Like, like this shit, like, no matter what, it's still psychology. Mm-hmm. Still got to, like, like these kids now, they've been, they, they, they tired of being, like, dude, you keep calling them savages, guess what the fuck they going to act like? Savages. Like, so they call these savages. And then we got the older gender, like, man, something wrong with these kids, something wrong with these kids. Like, sometimes you got to be a little optimistic with something. Like, yeah, most of them, a lot of them fucked up. They fucked up because it's it. Because the situation, and you can't help everybody, but motherfuckers need to be trying to help them ones that ain't that ain't all the way full in. Right. Yeah, that's, that's another key point, because some of these marks is unhelpable. You know what I'm saying? When, when, it's, it's just like if you get infected with a virus, or if you get if you get a snake bite on your hand. You know, if, you, if that venom is powerful enough, the doctor knows they need to amputate that hand immediately before it spreads throughout the body and then hit the heart. Which caused sudden death. These Mars is dying slowly, mentally. You know what I'm saying? So it's, some is too infected to even cure, to even waste your time to cure. But then at the same time, the the the, the old the old school generation and the mid school generation really don't have the, the nerve audacity. Shouldn't have the nerve audacity to even uh, look down upon these new generations because we because. Cause we dropped the ball on the motherfuckers. Cause we stopped, we stopped, we we stopped being leaders. Man, man, oh my, dude, I, I, man, I swear, this is the same thing that we were speaking on a couple weeks ago. 
It's like, how can you blame these kids without pointing a finger at yourself first? How can you blame an untrained, a untrained uh, generation and not point the finger at yourself first? You are the man. They are. They don't come into this world knowing. They don't come into this world with experience. They ain't come in the world by just their mama busting somebody down. Like, no, how can you how can you blame the ratchetness and the savages out there without yeah. pointing the finger at yourself first? Stop just putting the blame on these kids. Yeah, it's the Mars that's that's not raising these Mars from from, from the household. It's just I, and the generation gap is one of the most important factors because they need to understand where it breaks off at. Like the mid, the mid generation can consist of the, the 70s and the 80s babies. The new generation, the 90s and and, and so forth, the, you know, uh, 2000 and up, whatever. Mm-hmm. Then the, the 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 low generation is 60s and 50s. Major, mm-hmm. major fucking major uh, uh, gaps. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. if you if you compare that with as, as fast as the world evolves. And the, the world is only evolving in one direction. It, it, it evolves materialistically and with uh, throughout technology. You know, so that that's how we grow now. Technology, physical, you know, stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying the more the, the, that the world evolves um, uh, throughout technology and materialistic objects and the way of, uh, way of being, the the the, uh, the less grown we doing mentally and physically. I mean, spiritually. You know, say it's not. That's not. That's not. We stop. We we stopped growing mentally and spiritually centuries ago. You know what I'm saying? So now, if you if you're looking at these brackets, the old like it's been proven over and over again. The old school cannot cannot understand the new school, and the new school can't understand the old school. It's impossible. It's, it's a foreign language. They can't. They can. They can't. They can't. They can't merge with each other at all. The only the only people that have the power and understanding and experience on both sides will be the men. So that'd be so that means it'd be anybody born within those the seventies, eighties, it'd be their responsibility. But the problem with these motherfuckers is the men class trying to be like the new school. They still uh, trying to turn up with these marks. So you be, you you, be, you becoming the new you you know what I'm saying? Right. Like like, like right. how how many times have you seen a situation where the 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 the, the, the young ones be in front of the of the, of the, of the other class? Right, <laughs> right, right. Like they they rock the behind them now. Right, right. It's almost like it's almost like the the uh like our generation, our generation, like in the thirties, go undercover to try to get them, and they end up being sucked in too deep and becoming one of them. Like, dude, you in 2D. What is you wearing the skinny jeans for, bro? What is you <laughs> talking about, bro? Why is, about, why is you talking about getting turned up? Like, y'all why, niggas dude, to turn off. Why the fuck are you? I, I, I was in Walmart the other day, and I, I, I swear it was a grandma. Grandma talking about grandma, grandma. I'm talking about she was at least, she was at least 55, 60 years old. No, nah, she, she was at least 60. She was tying her. First of all, she was. She, I guess she was trying to tie her uh, her granddaughter daughter's shoe up, and uh, she, I guess she was messing up or whatever. She and she. The first thing that came in her mouth was like, "Oh, damn! I was tweaking." First, eh, like, hold on, tweaking. <laughs> then she says, and then she says, uh, "This say something about uh, uh, something about turn up or whatever." Like she was talking to her daughter now. I'm like, turn up, tweaking. I'm like, wow. Think of getting this even getting to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, these Mars, this, like, the, not, that's how much power the new generation got. But the power is so, man. Man, we like, we we becoming peers. We come in parents or, or or figures that's supposed to that these kids are supposed to respect. They looking at us like peers too much. They look at you like peers too much, and then the ones that that that's trying to tell them the right thing, they look at you almost like too churchy. Uh, like man, you. Uh, it's, I don't the know. Whole, just like the conversation you just had when you were just trying to simply ask them a question. Mhm. Like yeah. they they yeah. get off into a whole bunch of like, oh. okay, <laughs> I gotta leave. Yeah. You know. It, yeah. And it's it's really the basically what the the information that you gave me was unrealistic to this situation right now. 
You just gave me a whole bunch of blah, blah, blah. Like, how do you do that? Right. These you marks have like telling information from centuries ago. Like, these marks don't even want to listen to old... Like, these marks don't even want to listen to Public Enemy, a KRS one from 20 years ago. Like, they ain't trying to hear nothing from centuries ago. That's like giving some bogus directions. So how you get downtown? Should keep on going straight, and all you got to do is make a right at the second light, and keep going again, like, instead of giving specific... Like, they need specific direction, and they need... They, they need... They need... <laughs> they need, they need they need actual examples of, 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 of you know, yeah. on how to do things, yeah. and how not to do things, and they need, yeah. they need to be able to see yeah. what the cause and effect on the way and the route they're going there. They need to be able to see that, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of a lot of things, decisions they be making, you know, they they, they put themselves in bogus situations. They, they they don't like those situations, and they complain, they this this and that, they fuck this whatever. But it's like. They they don't re, they don't know how to re strategize or analyze situations, let alone themselves. You know what I'm saying? And it's like and like parents are fucking idiots these days. You know what I'm saying? Like you see like like I done met a couple females and, and you know what I'm saying that's that that you know a lot of it's a lot of people that be they think it's cool like to be smoking weed with their kids. Shit, he gonna do it anyway. Shit, at least he gonna do I want to do it with me. You know right. what I'm thinking? It's they trying to be buddies with the kids instead of being parents. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just mad. they just disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? You know, back in the day, it was like, it wasn't no, you know, like you say, the village raised the kids. You know, you you, you can't be, there wasn't no kids outside cussing in front of, in front, uh, in front of Miss Coons and, 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 and Mr. and Mr. You know, you know, to keep your mouth closed. You out of respect. Uh, uh, if if you was her cursing or getting out of line, one, 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 of, the, one of the older teenagers or whoever would come check you or give you a whooping itself. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's like they just straight renegade action right now, and and they they not being raised. No, there's no parents no more. They being raised by these by the, they being raised by the images that they send that's being projected on the TV screen. They being raised by these rappers. They being raised by the entertainment field. They being raised by an illusion that they that's being smacked in front of them. You know what I'm saying? Like like it's like pretty much they being mentally deceptive. You know what I'm saying, and programmed. You know what I'm saying by by this HD ass world. And, you know and what I'm saying. The irony of, uh, uh, of that of them being uh, influenced by entertainers by by what they see and what they hear and them frequencies. When hip hop was first originated, hip hop the hip hop artist was influenced by the streets. Now the streets are influenced by hip hop, or not even uh, nah, no, I'm, not hip hop rap. It ain't hip hop rap. It's rap. These rap, niggas is rappers. Rap artists pretending. Rap, man, these niggas is not hip hop. Like, not hip hop so, at like, all. Hip hop is communication in between yeah. that we use community. It was a tool we use community yeah, with like, each other. Man, man, I'm telling you, man. I, they done I, let these Mars cuff up our science and shit and turn and make and deliver to us like as if it's still hip hop or the shit that we invented. You know what I'm saying? And they, they just. <laughs> Fuck our language up. They don't even see it. Man. Man. They don't even see it. These niggas can't even really articulate themselves without... At all. No, at all. At all. It's no no more individuals. No. You know what I'm saying? You... You another... You another replication, duplication of, of, of something else that's been out there. And you, everybody, you represent the mass. It's it's sickening. So so it's so sickening. so so we we got a bigger problem than we reckon for because like you can't really because these Mars ain't cut off the TV or cut off the radio. You know what I'm saying? So it's really at this point it's like save yourself and your family. Mm-hmm. And the family members you can save. If half of them can't gonna have to go gonna have to go gonna drown. You know. Like, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that's looking for answers, looking for a way, like, you know, provide some type of network and ways, you know, a congregation amongst people that's ready to be unplugged. You know what I'm saying? But anything other than that, it's a waste of time because we too far behind because we all got caught up into the time warp some way, form, or fashion. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It, we, in a, we, in a, we in a crazy time lapse right now. Like, people people think that, people, first of First of all, we going we 
we follow in a time clock that these marks then then invented and put in front of us. Time moves way faster than that. You know, so they say if they say three hundred six, it's been three hundred sixty five days. It's probably been like six hundred sixty five days, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially uh, the time as far as how consciousness grows and how time goes on the conscious scale. Like, shit is like dumb, dead slow. You know, that that clock means a lot. You know, people just think it's just a bunch of numbers. Like, like, like we on a whole another thing. We on their time scale. You know what I'm saying? They, it, we, People move out. Well, they say you gotta do you gotta do this for four years before you can become that. And well, well, a person, well, a kid only can read when he when when he in, uh when he's five years old. Or they always put like a time. You notice that? Like, uh-huh. well, you can't. You gotta be sixteen to be able to drive. You gotta be. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing anything outside of that, it's abnormal. Uh-huh. Like, no, nah, no, nah, my kid can read at three. Right. You know what I'm saying? My kid can read at three, and now we're working on, now, yeah, he's working on, they're working on Spanish. They're going to be, you know, all that. You know what I'm saying? Who, who said they can't? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't try to stunt. You, they're, trying to, they're trying to stunt. They're trying to cap off our growth. Uh-huh. You know, they, they, they don't want you, you don't want too many motherfuckers to get too smart too soon. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, nah. That, that, that's, that's a little bit too dangerous. We don't we don't want a we don't want a, want a we don't want a world full of thinkers, and we gonna we want you to know exactly what we want you to know. So you go to our schools, you go to the classes, you get that bachelor's degree. Yeah. You're gonna be smart. You know you're gonna be a you're gonna be one uneducated bachelor's degree having moron that think they know some shit but mm-hmm. don't know nothing, but still have no. Then gonna go back and get a master's. And a remaster's degree. And it's like, it's all to fill up your time, to keep time away from yourself. The more time, idle time you have, you have no time. Most people don't have time to, to get a self. You know what I'm saying? Most, most, 90% of us will never understand what that is. Spend, spend the time with self. But it's it's so it's so, it's so much shit that that they use it now. It's it's really no because in order to change, you got to change things in the masses, you know. And it's like, you know, once you start changing things, or the people that do have the power, like if we're talking about music or hip hop, whatever, the people that have the power and the influence, you know, everything revolves around power and influence in this world. Whoever got the power and influences, they gon they gonna cut their throats instantly, very mm-hmm. quick. It's mm-hmm. like because we had our voices. They cut our voices. We had two. We had Biggie's. We had Michael Jackson. And who who knows what the fuck Michael's about to tell us? Man, you know I, what I'm saying? What he was telling us already? Go go listen to his music. Dude, sound like a civil rights side dude. Dude was already telling us already. Putting it in the form of love songs. Putting it in the form of hymns. He was already telling us. He was telling you they don't care about us. He was, he, 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 man, he, like this dude was, <laughs> this dude was a, a musical genius. He was more hip hop than a lot of these artists out here. He was more hip hop than a lot of these artists on out here. And what they try to do before, uh, the, the first, one of the first thing they try to do was kill his credibility with saying here. Right. Yeah. But, that bullshit. But, yeah. Like, I, like, nah. I believe he he was like he was a little weird, especially uh with the with, yeah. with the skin bleaching or whatever. But I believe uh-huh. that's what the industry turned him into. Almost like what he felt like for him to be accepted, he had to be a white boy. Man, and because 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 Mike 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 was a spiritual person. He was a spiritual being. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so I can only imagine being as famous and popular as he is, and dealing with everybody out in this space—the paparazzi, the media, and just the slander, just the, the, the discrediting—and like him still trying to be within himself. You know, to understand the importance of being, 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 being in tune with self. He was spazzing out. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking confused, just trying to like, I don't know, just like I, I understand. Even though he was still weird, but <laughs> I, I can I can see just everything he did was explainable to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm-hmm. You know, even paying when he know he ain't do it. Very explainable. That's one. But, you know, these are, we going all in the different topics. But at the same time, uh, uh, a lot of these problems and issues we talk talk about because they still stem from self. A lot of these, uh, like even starting with the kids, they have no identity. They don't know who they are, so they can't check themselves. They they get a self props for being savages. So they get a prop, self props for being a, a a a negative character, and that's the wrong kind of energy. So, like all this still stems from self. All of it still stems from self. Yeah. Hold on one second, bro. No, we're going to wrap this one up as far as one. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to, uh, I'm going to hit you back in a little bit. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. oh, it must be real sweet for you today. <laughs> Dude, it's retarded. <laughs> what, the supervisor ain't in? Nah, he up there. They, I'm just doing a different job. That I'm, not, I'm not on the line. I'm not on the assembly line. So oh. I do what I, I do, waiting on the truck. So I just, you know, yeah. I don't mind doing this shit. <laughs> Uh, all I got. My, what I do is strictly really only takes five minutes. So I do it and I come back and I usually wait like 15, 20 minutes for the next truck. Um, I'm just checking to make sure everything is good before they put on the truck. That's it. Mm. Yeah. I just dip out so motherfuckers going to be noticing I'm gone and shit too long. Yeah. But yeah, we got the. Uh, we'll, we're gonna go straight into the show. When you uh, when uh, the next time you doing it? Right now. Oh, uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we live. We live on the show right now. We live right now, B. Right now, doggy. Right now, right now. Okay, I know they can feel the energy. Right now, record recording live. Recording live in my job bathroom. No hey, homo. Hey. <laughs> okay, and, and and I'm at the slave ship. I'm at the uh, on the plantation right now myself. Hey, hey. we got we got to use the master time. <laughs> use master time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So, the, what's the topic of discussion? We speaking on our positive energy. Man, any, yeah, any energy in general. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, understanding, being able to smell the energy, being able to see the energy, and definitely feel the energy. You know, so we we both left on the off of personal conversations uh, talking about the season change. You know what I'm saying? Uh about, you know, recognizing the recognizing the circumstance before it even occurs. You know, being able to decode, you know, what may be presented to you in a positive light that can end up, you know, affecting you negatively or not maybe neg- negative but just distracting you from your main focus. Uh-huh. This is my this is my take on uh, seasons and uh, and the energy changing with them seasons. I look at every season almost like um, like uh, semesters in school. Like I believe, like first of all, I believe like um, it's always our season. That's the first thing I believe. But it's up to us to make sure that we passing them tests throughout the semester before we get to the next season or we get more energy. Like, uh, I know, like, you're a fan of, like, the, the Dragon Ball Z. 
And I know, I think on uh, when they pass certain courses or whatever, they get certain more powers, right? Right. I I believe that it's always our season, but it's like sometimes like we fail season. And I know like like the 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 first couple of quarters of the, of this year, 2013, all in the whole, to me it's been a great year because I'm still breathing, I'm still talking about it. But at the mm-hmm. same time, uh, a lot of the goals that I set out. I stagulated on, like so. I felt like I missed my season. I was failing, failing my exams. Which mm-hmm. got to take me back to the. I got to uh, retake the same class all over. The next season. I, and now this season, I'm passing all of them with flying colors because I already know the answers because I didn't been through all of the tests. It's like okay, bite your pride. It's like certain negative, negative energy you got to put up to get them results. It's like okay, now you beating them up. Then what happens as you start beating them up, you pass that test, then new hurdles start coming in. Now, mm-hmm. I'm so aware right now of uh, uh, of uh, good energy. Like, this is so where we can, we can cuss on this show? Man, no borders, no boundaries on this show. Oh, okay. I'm watching, what I, I'm watching what I'm saying. Man, I'm so aware of everything that, I see the good shit that's happening, and I can see the bad shit that's happening. Almost like I'm in the matrix. I see numbers like, no matter, like it could be somebody like that 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 energy is straight positive all the way to the core, like to the core. But somehow, like no matter what, we still we just all men, and somehow like negative energy can see through us even when we think. We all good. Like, sometimes I have my laps where I break off in the negativity, then I just got to check myself. Sometimes we get used to, to to throw out a negative fireball at somebody else to see how they react because you never know where it's coming from. Mm-hmm. And uh, sometimes, from, like, a certain person, it could, it could test somebody down. Yeah. It could test somebody down. But if, uh, if you peeping everything what's going on, and uh, uh, your your positive energy outweighing your negative energy is going to be a way you're going to thrash it all day. And that's how I'm feeling right now. I just feel like I could move mountains with my energy. And I know right now, like, I feel like I don't know how Mike felt when he was winning championships, but I felt like Mike – and 90, when he lost to Detroit and he came back, like, I'm not losing to these niggas no more again. I'm looking at Phil Jackson. Like, uh, my metaphor for Phil Jackson is God. Like, God is coaching me. I feel like I'm Mike, and I feel like I'm unstoppable. I'm an unstoppable force when I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I, I believe I can fly. I'm a new version of Mike, and I'm a fat motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So you agree. So you agree. Besides anything else, whether it's, it's money, power, and all the other stuff that comes along with life, uh, the energy would be considered the most important first. Man, like man, like you can have all the money in the world and have the most negative energy. Like the money don't mean nothing. Like money is the things that uh, uh, th- those are th- those are some of the wants. Like, man, you need energy. You need energy. Like, 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 real talk. Like, through the past, um, what, 2013 from almost from February to up to now, I ain't been as uh, financially stable as I want to. But, like, it's like nothing that's tearing me down because no matter what, I already know everything going to get taken care of. I'm not no sit-down person My my energy going to get me up, and it's going to make sure that I got to get everything done. Monetary advice, that's going to get done. Like we, If we got positive energy, you got no negative thoughts in your mind, it's when you start doing that whack mm-hmm. to get to that money. That is, that's when it sets you back. That'll mm-hmm. set you back. As long as you're keeping that positive energy, I feel like the high being, God, the universe, going to always bless you. It's gonna right. always bless. It's always gonna pay you. It's always gonna pay you. As long as you dishing out positive energy, uh, motivating others, encouraging others, uh, like uh, 
Like just dishing out positive vibes, period. I've been like I ain't like I'm a meme I'm I'm usually a meme mug dude. I ain't been smiling. I smile so much this for these last couple months. But all with some smiles, I'm saying that I'm attracting more people around me, more people willing to come to me off of, mm-hmm. off of a smile. Mm-hmm. That's positive energy, bitch, and off of a smile. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. A pastor told me today, I'm, I'm, we filming this uh, mini-series, uh, Power. I'm get, giving myself a shameless plug right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we filming this mini-series, Power. Pastor told me today, he's like, he's like, man, like it's, this something just mad simple, but you know what I'm saying. But I heard it. He's like, man, I know it. I know it's done right in G smile. <laughs> like I know it was done right in G smile because if he don't smile, there's something wrong with like that. That dude don't smile. So if y'all made him smile, y'all did something right. Right. Nah, like that, that means nothing to a lot of people. But I heard him and I was aware of him. Like man. Mm-hmm. And I wear that with a badge of honor. Mm-hmm. Like, because we can't be uh, easily satisfied with ourselves. We got to be looking at the, the the energy that we put out. We're supposed to be doing that anyway. So we don't deserve no kudos. But when other people doing it and you, and, and you felt like you encouraged them or God encouraged you to encourage them, then, yeah, you get a sense of... Uh, uh, keeping your head up, poking your chest out, but it ain't like, yeah, I did that. It's like, man, like, man, I like, kind of felt like you did a good job or they did a good job. And you just, like, when you're on the, uh, on the positive rim, you just want to see the next person do the same thing. As a, as an entrepreneur, what are you, what are some, uh, what are some tips and or advice you would give other young entrepreneurs that's trying to, you know, do their thing on the, you know, on the business side? Yeah. Or do's and don'ts. The dude, like the, the first of all, the dude is like first of all, like know exactly who you are. Like know exactly who you are and uh, like know your strong points. You got to know yourself. Like, it's something I always, like, matter of fact, uh, Socrates said that, well, one of them dead white dudes, they said something like, like, the hardest person is to know is yourself. So uh, it still goes back to boys, no matter what we're talking about, it still boils back to self. It first, always goes back to self. That's the first test, the first challenge mm-hmm. in any aspect of life. You mm-hmm. skip that, you skip that class, you're going to find yourself always back to first grade. Man, man, taking rerun tests, taking tests that you didn't already seen the answers to, and you keep marking the same thing because you don't know yourself yet. Cause, and you you won't bite your pride to just put down the right answer because you're in the false sensation of, of thinking it's your universe. And like, then I'm, if I'm think, speaking of on from experience. It's one, them, it's, it's one of them questions. Can't nobody give you the answer to. Uh huh. All we can say is self. Take the time out. Look at yourself in the mirror. Man, you know what I'm saying? only the real can do that though. Only the real can do that. See, anybody, the easy thing to do is like if I'm looking at you, be like, dude, see what's wrong with you is, woo woo woo. See, you do this too much, and you woo woo woo, but you don't woo woo woo. Anybody can do that. That's it. Easy. That's mm-hmm. it. Easy. Like only the real, only the real can look in the mirror and say, "Nigga, what's wrong with you?" Is you woo woo woo? You need to check yourself. Like that takes a, like that takes real to do that. Mm-hmm. That takes a lot of real and a lot of guts, and then to feel the, the no homo, the tingle in your body. To know that you just checked yourself and you better straighten up ASAP, almost like God talking to you. Yeah, it's crazy because that's that's one of that's one of the fears that most people have is seeing themselves for who they are, and mm-hmm. then accepting themselves for who they are, and then you know working on changing the things that are defaults or that are faults. 
or uh, or or errors within themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to do the reverse psychology or mirror effect and, and push it off on somebody else, saying it's you. You need to do this. You need to do that. You know. You know anybody that walks this earth and, and as if they're, they're they're walking into into some type of perfection. You know, as if they have no flaws and nothing needs to be fixed or uh, no type of self value. They are mad unrealistic to even think. Mm-hmm. And that's how some people walk around like they perfect. Like they perfect. Like they like they God. Like they God. That's that, that's a bad look. My fault. I cut you off. But mm-hmm. yeah, I, I so. So what what I'm trying to get to now is uh you know because it, it's easier it's easier said than done because some, some people don't know how to you know what I'm saying like like when you first start talking about self and getting in tune and stuff and all this other stuff and mentioning anything about God or whatever like that you know they uh, first thing that comes to their mind is you know what I'm saying let me go to church see like. That's fine. That's fine. I don't want to knock no uh, none of that. Uh, <laughs> so I want to be careful how we do because we, that's a whole other topic, and we we don't want to do that on this one. Let me but, say, let me <laughs> let me speak on that real quick because I felt like I've been going to church. I feel like I've been like uh, for uh, like the way that my spirit been revived. I feel probably like how. Um, different religious groups still going to church, and I'm a preacher's kid. But I might not add, I'm a preacher's kid. But it's something. It's a lot of things that I just don't agree with. I just don't agree with. I just say it like that. It's a lot of things that I don't agree with. But that's a topic for another conversation. Conversation on another topic. Um, but I feel like hello, hello. Hello. 